Okay, it's good to see that the new video is doing well with audiences. Oh, hey everyone. I didn't know you guys broke into my new house. Gonna call the technician to fix the security cameras outside at some point. If you notice the channel looking drastically different, that's because I've decided to officially retire from proper stop motion animation and rebrand everything. The keyword is proper. My reason for doing this is because making complicated animations like the previous video caused me to have a severe burnout, hence why the wait between part 1 and part 2 of the OBA special for Pokemon Story was a year in between. In the beginning, stop motion was a lot of fun, but I always favored the animation aspect of each video over a well-structured story, resulting in a lot of the plot to not make any sense in retrospect. Like seriously, the LEGO Spongebob videos in particular didn't feel like the original source material, and I just applied anything I could come up with. From the Riddler being a primary antagonist of until episode 59, to the Penguins of Madagascar? Needless to say, I'm not proud of my content prior to 2017. I tried to go back and watch some of these videos recently, but I couldn't get past 10 seconds of it. However, I understand how much of my old content means to you guys. It's the main reason why I have an audience supporting me for the past 12 years. So while I do intend on rebranding this channel to a near clean state, I'll be using a new name moving forward and I'm gonna unless all my videos except for the Pokemon Story series. I'll be putting all of them into a playlist called Boomer Boy Legacy Playlist. By clicking on it, it'll show all of my animations from the past 6 years. While they'll no longer be public, they aren't going anywhere, so you'll be able to enjoy such classics as Sonic and Hinduism Maya, the PvP guide, and Robin's Sex Change Machine. <laughs> I call it the Sex Machine 2000! Robin, either this is you or were you smoking crack again? This is worthless! You may have also seen the name change from Boomer Boy to Dronius. I know, it sounds like a permanent illness. There's two main reasons for why I went with this. For one, I spent the last two days finding a YouTube channel called Dronius and I couldn't find a single one, which made it perfect for me to use. And the second reason is because it's a spin on the word chrono, which means time. Boomer Boy as a name represents a version of me that's made so many mistakes over the course of my YouTube journey, with the biggest mistake being that I didn't put much variety into my videos. By dedicating my entire channel to mostly LEGO Spongebob, I've gained an audience that only wants Spongebob and nothing else. Don't get me wrong, I'm still thankful for those who subscribed at the time, I really am. And there's nothing bad focusing on one franchise or genre. If you like making videos about something and want to focus on creating a fanbase around that, then go for it. My personal issue is that when that time comes where you no longer enjoy that medium, but those videos are the only thing that gets you any attention, then it becomes more of a chore than a hobby. Yet despite the burnout I've gone through, that small spark of passion that's burning in my chest still remains. That spark of passion is the embodiment of me not caring how well each video performs, or how often I have to join the bandwagon of viral trends or topics that people are talking about. Because what I clearly see in my oldest videos from 2011 to 2013 is my younger self having fun. And that's what matters in the end, for anyone wanting to start making videos on this website. That's the reason I decided to rename this channel to Dronius. Sure, I replaced a C to a D due to my real name being Deontay. And no mom and dad, you guys aren't clever. There are tons of Americans with the name Deontay, you ain't special. It's mainly a username that represents my time, no pun intended, to change. It's time to start a new chapter for this channel, it's time to start fresh with a new mindset moving forward. It's time to start having fun with content creation, just like how I used to feel. It wasn't until I started the Pokemon Story series 5 years ago that I found myself having a bit of fun again. While that last animated episode came out recently, I'ma be honest, the worst burnout I've ever felt is something I NEVER want to go through again. Everyone knows that animation's hard, regardless of what style it is. When each episode is longer than 10 minutes and they're being finished back to back, it can be exhausting. Even with this, I still enjoy the story that's been made so far, and to throw it all away now would have been 6 and a half years of my life being wasted. So while I do plan on continuing the series, it'll no longer be animated in stop motion. I instead plan on continuing Pikachu and Piplup's story through just writing, and a sequel to the series will be released on Wattpad.com. It's a website that lets users create original stories or fanfictions of existing IPs. I know there's other sites that let you do the same thing like fanfiction.net and whatnot, but I chose Wattpad due to a cleaner interface. Seriously, what, what, what on earth is this? It's 2022, not 1995, come on now. Just because Pokemon Story won't be animated nor will it be on YouTube anymore doesn't mean it's cancelled. You guys will meet the Guild for Freedom gang again someday, and I will be sure to post updates on the progress. It won't happen anytime soon, so don't expect much right now. Plus, I want to take a break from the series and focus on new videos moving forward. Now, in terms of new videos, I decided to make video essays on topics I think would be interesting. Most of it is video games and lost media stuff, but I'm also down to talk about other things that I'm not familiar with, such as movies from my childhood, features that YouTube used to have, comics from all types of genres, among many others. 
The goal for this new direction is to have a variety of things to make content on, which will allow me to come up with many ideas that wouldn't be possible if I only stuck to one franchise or genre. Each Dronius video will have two phases, an animation and video phase. The animation phase will mostly be me in this room talking to you guys sprinkled throughout the video, hence the keyword proper. There won't be a lot of crazy visual effects or complicated motion going on screen that'll make me pull my hair out from how stressful editing all of it would be. Meanwhile, the video phase will be the bulk of the new content, which will range from either intense editing to simple and calm sequences. This video may not be the best example of what I meant by all of this, but I'll still try my best to make entertaining content in some way. Over the past few months, I've been storing some video ideas on my phone. All of them were topics that came into my mind while browsing the internet, or while I was at work and these things randomly popped into my brain out of nowhere. I've written down 51 ideas, but not all of them are going to be made into a video. Most of these are just placeholder ideas that have no depth to them, while some of them have a structure on how I want to tackle these topics. I've then narrowed the list down to 20 ideas I definitely want to work with, but there will come to a point in time where I've completed all of them. I'll continue to brainstorm some new ideas, but I'm also down to take suggestions from you guys in the comments below. The topics can be literally anything you want me to make a video on, even ideas that have no structure or detailed information. Any ideas you suggest will be written down for consideration, with those who have their ideas chosen will be credited in the description of that specific video. This new direction isn't something that everyone will be happy about and I'm fully aware of that. But you have to understand that people's interest in anything changes over time. Some things like sports, movies, celebrities, music, etc. will be interesting to you at one point but then it won't be the next point. For me, I used to love making stop motion to a detailed degree and I once loved Spongebob Squarepants during my early teenage years. But now, as an adult with a full-time job, my love for the show has been gone for a long time. And now my love for full-blown stop-motion animations is gone too. I've been scared of people not caring about what stop-motion video I made and only wanted LEGO Spongebob content. I've been scared of making a change to this channel for years because of low views, likes, and people unsubscribing. But now, it doesn't phase me anymore. I plan on making new videos that don't focus on LEGO animations and it won't satisfy everyone, but that's fine. I'd rather make videos with zero views, no likes, lost in subs, and look at my channel as a hobby like many years ago than to continue making stop motion videos to please my audience at the cost of my own happiness. I've come to accept that this channel has been a dead channel for years and will continue to be one. But as long as I have the passion for being a YouTuber, then this community of mine and the people who will continue to support me in my future endeavors will remain alive and kicking for the time being. To those who are unsubscribing or have already left, I'm sad to see you go and I apologize for not satisfying your demands. I understand your disappointment. However, I won't create a new channel to run away from my fears. As cringy as that sounds, I want to post videos that will make me happy again. New videos won't come out on a weekly basis, but it won't take years for new stuff to release like before. In hindsight, I really don't deserve the fanbase I created, but the fact that some of you guys are willing to stick around for what I plan for the future speaks volumes. I'll forever be thankful for what I currently have, and even if my channel doesn't grow beyond this point, I'll continue to make videos for those that are still here. So, to those who want to support me during this change, thank you. <sighs> and now it's time for me to get started on this new chapter of my life. I guess to end this video on a happier note, any of you guys who watched my livestream video I made a while back might have noticed how much I blinked. For some reason I have a bad habit of doing that on camera. I still don't know how many times I blinked throughout the whole thing. M more than 200 times? What the 